What's up guys, my name is Marcel Flores, welcome to my channel One Dapper Street and today we're going to sort all of this out. I'm going to get rid of a bunch of stuff. It is uh, very much a Sunday right now, that's why I'm chilling here with a beanie on and my girlfriend sitting on the, on the floor. <laughs> this is Hilda. I know you guys haven't really met her yet, but um, Hilda is everybody, everybody Hilda. And she likes organizing stuff and she's gonna help me out with all of this because uh, two videos are gonna come up really soon. One is the apartment video, which I know is way overdue, but I wanna kind of sort this out before we shoot that. And then two, a uh, minimalist video, which I'll tell you more about when that actually happens, but today it's just a little vlog style video of us uh, going through the closet. So I hope you guys enjoy. Yay. First step is always cleaning up first, so you know that you have everything out before you go through everything in a mess or, or stuff gets mixed up. So first thing, when you clean out your closet, clean up first. Oh, you color coordinate your hoodies! <laughs> I color coordinate everything in theory. I got hot sauce in my bag swag. I see it, I want it. First things first, the first closet right here that has t-shirts, um, a few printed and short sleeve shirts. There's chinos and dress, dress pants, bags, hoodies and sweatshirts, sweaters, and jeans. So this is actually the majority of my closet, so we'll be busy here for a while. Wanna move my feet? So if you're thinking I'm already sorting out a whole lot, you're right. I want to be much more selective with, with what I have in my closet, but also we were watching Marie Kondo's... Marie Kondo. Marie Kondo. She, the the, the life-changing art of tidying up. If you if you pick it up and it doesn't feel good to you, you just get rid of it. I, I struggle with that a lot because I'm like, this is my work, what if I need this, what if I need that? A lot of the things that I've kept literally for times and times that I've sorted out, like these pair of pants are from Alfred Dunhill. Um, I, one of my first collaborations with them, I got them for free, but they're like an $800 pair of pants. They're absolutely, like, they're beautiful. I just don't wear them. I don't, so why hold on? Um, all of the clothes that you see sorted out are going to be sold, and that money is going to be donated. Um, there's five different charities that I donate to regularly, so don't think it's going to waste. Yeah, and uh, enjoy the rest of this. <laughs> And that wraps up this closet. I that was a, that was like a first massive one, and then I'm gonna organize everything together with Hilda later on, and then I think I'm gonna do another one. But uh, done in here. Moving on. I'm gonna switch you around 180 degrees after I find out a way to walk over here. <laughs> uh. And here we go. Shirts. Blazers and suits. Yes, yes, yes. No. Alright, most of the clothes in here are done, but we also have a few more drawers which Hilda had organized recently. So, like, look at this the Marie Kondo way. Everything's resting up so you can see it very clearly. Which should make this a lot more easier on me because I can just quickly go through and see what I don't love anymore. I feel like sometimes we choose to not go through anything that we can push into the wall and not see because then we're like, oh, it's fine, like, I don't have to look at it versus something like that that's very exposed and like it needs to look pretty. But what I'm in the process of is obviously like getting rid of all the stuff so I know like outside and inside it looks good and then we're also going to do some of the stuff that's non-fashion related which I'm not going to show you in the video because what would you care so 
<laughs> Off to sportswear. <laughs> uh, yeah, if I start dancing again, then what? <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I already don't like this. Oh, and this, by the way, is where we are at right now. <laughs> Still have like three, more, babe, three more closets to go to. Yeah, you don't have a lot of that sports stuff, and you use that quite a lot, don't you think? Yeah. That's why it's hard uh, yeah, for but you, like, harder? I know, but like that's why it makes it easy. Like the things that I don't use, I know which ones I don't use. You know what I mean? Yeah, perfect. I have a memory of this. This is better. So that was the Audi Cup, but we actually played soccer and I played against a former world champion. To be fair, he was like 65 at that point, but I won best player. So, take that. Oh, I have a trophy over there, so I don't need the shirt anymore. <laughs> Oh no, that's not you! <laughs> Currently in the middle of uh, doing shoes actually, and I can't really shoot it because I don't want to have any memory of like letting go of them. Shoes are, which is why I have a shoe company, like what's most uh, sentimental to me. So just going through all of that and seeing what, what, what I have to get rid of, it's just not, it's just not a lot of fun. Took a little break, had some dinner, because I needed a break physically and mentally. It's really taxing, I think, going through all your stuff and just letting go, but it's good in the long run. So now, I just gotta do this. Sorry, it's getting really dark in here, but I have one more light jacket closet, and... One more winter jacket closet, and then... I'll show you guys what it looks up all packed up and then what it looks up all organized and clean after that. All right, we've got it bagged up right here. That's three of them, but there's four more bags here, a couple boxes. These just go into storage, so these aren't going, but it is a whole lot of clothes. A new day, and I finished organizing, so I wanted to show you the result of that right behind me. So you see, everything is looking a lot better than it did before in this little side-by-side -side comparison, especially the main closet here. I still have a bunch of t-shirts, obviously, because t-shirts are just very essential, I think. They're basics, and I go through them a lot. <laughs> then down here, we have the bags a lot more organized now that there's so many less of them. The jeans are done the Mary Kondo way, so you can always see what you have in your closet. And that's a huge part of why I organize in the first place. I always want to see how, like, what's in my closet. I think a lot of you guys think that because I get a lot of clothes for free and because I just, you know, this is what I do. I, I have a lot of clothes so I can show you guys a bunch of different clothes and hopefully you like something. But it can get really overwhelming having too many clothes because you don't see what you have in there anymore. I rediscovered a bunch of pieces that I actually love that I haven't worn because I was just like, I, I, they literally, like, I couldn't see them. So it's just a very important thing that I think I wanted to point out with this video as well. And of course the benefit of like decluttering, which to me it's always like, my apartment and my closet are like an image of my mind, like how cluttered it is. And sometimes my mind gets decluttered and then I declutter my department, but sometimes my mind needs decluttering, my mind needs decluttering. And I declutter this first, and then the rest kind of just falls into place. So I feel like there's just so much better energy in here now, and I'm more excited to make outfits for you guys again. So I hope you enjoy this little thing I did today, and get ready for a couple more videos, including the apartment video, like I said. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope I'll see you soon again. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, change that. Turn on the post notifications. And I'll see you very soon with the next video. Until then, as always, stay dapper. Bye, y'all.